plates on the floor. Yeah. In the shed. How much it costs to buy turbines and the setup. There's a typical example of something that's redundant. Well, I blagged that at Yeovilton. That came off a whirlwind. That came in from Leon Solent. And they were going to use it for crash on the airfield practice. It had battle damage repair yeah. all over it from the school, skin yeah. repair school. And uh, they were going to burn it. They were going to put dummies in it and set fire to it. I said, you can't do that. Yeah. I said, tell Rotor on there, I'll give my hind teeth for it. So I chucked the tenor in their teeth window and took the gearbox off in the tail rotor. Um, and I chucked it in the shed. It's been in there for 10, 15 years. We changed it all around because obviously it was a tail rotor from a helicopter which we needed to make into a wind generator. So we turned all the pitch around and made a new hub because it was all on a big um, self-centering bearing in the hub in the middle. So that's a bit of a farmyard trailer which we spoined out and fitted it in, made new pitch links and done all the bits. The mast it's on at present is only a test piece. That's a bit of Summerton radio mast from the old external communication station that's now closed. And the base is a 1942 20 millimeter German anti-aircraft gun, uh, which <coughs> was redundant. Um, so it had a lovely turntable in it, which we modified a bit, but it's gonna end up when it's finished, it's gonna be totally self-sufficient. It's got a wind vane on it, which will pick up the wind shift and then it will drive uh, a ride-on mower starter through a few relays and a few solenoids and it will make it pitch into the wind so it will change itself continuous. The, the pitch control will be powered by a windscreen motor from a Volvo which we can work remote. And it will make about a kilowatt at 24 volts. So I'm going to run water heaters, low voltage, DC. In fact, the wind picks up in a minute you'll think, go ahead and stop that thing before it goes out and smash itself up. <laughs> yeah, it runs itself to bits. <laughs> yeah, it'll go. <laughs> That's just hard to bear, isn't it, that somebody could do that. <laughs> and why not? Uh, yeah, I know, I think it's great. I, it's <laughs> I've got a generator that's going to go on to it, yeah. and it's going to end up burning the, the water heating in my caravan site. So we put a caravan site together now. Yeah. So it's going up there, and the nice thing is I've stuffed the council because it's not permanent. I pick up the fort lift, I can move it. Yeah. Yeah.